So let's build a new project. So go up to the corner here, click on your username and click my stuff and then click new project. Now before we start, we need to give our project a name. So I'm going to call this solar system simulation. Now we don't want the cat here, so we can go down to the cat. We can right click on the cat sprite and delete. Now let's go and put our own sprite in here. Now because this is the solar system, let's go and find the Earth. So click on the sprite library, go down to space, and then click the Earth. There's the Earth, and then we can go OK. Now here's our Earth, let's put that in the middle and shrink it down. It's a bit big at the moment. So let's make it fairly small. There we go. Now let's make the Earth move by drawing some shapes. So before we start, we need to go to events and we need to put a new event in. So when the flag is pressed, this is the flag here, we want to do stuff. So let's go to motion and we can move how many steps? So 10 steps is very small. So let's go to 100 and let's play. There we go, it's moved 100. So let's make sure that the Earth starts in the same place all the time. So let's go to 0, Y and 0, X. So the X axis is at 0, the Y axis is at 0. And that is the middle of the screen. Now you can see here the X and Y axis moving as I go left and right to minus to positive values. So when we start our game now, it's going to start at zero, zero. So if we move that away and press the play button, we can see it starts in the middle. Now we can move that back and then play and there it moves. So every time we play this, it's going to start in the middle of the screen. Now we want it to point in the right direction as well. So let's point it up. So let's that's zero degrees and it's going to point up. So let's stop, play, and now it's going to go upwards. Okay, right. Now let's go to our pen tools. Before we start, we want to clear everything. So when we play it, it clears everything. And then we can say, put the pen down after we've cleared everything. Now, let's play it again when we play because the pen is on the paper, we get a line. So pause the video, I want you to try and create a square. So let's go back to motion. Now to create a square, we need to turn our earth by 90 degrees. So let's move our Earth by 90 degrees, and then we can move forward another 100. So let's play this again and see what happens. There we go, our square is beginning to take shape. Now what we can do is move this again, one by 90, 100, by 90, and then 100. So we've done it four times. We've moved our Earth by four times. Once, twice, three, and four times. Now when we play, we get our square. But this seems very tedious to be able to do this all the time. The great thing about coding is that you've got tools that will allow you to loop things. So let's go to control. And here we've got some loops. So we want to repeat this four times. So let's move this out and repeat just the move and the turn. And we want to repeat it four times. Now let's move this back here. First of all, let's clear the screen. And you can do that by going to pen and click clear. Okay, here we go. Now let's play and there we've got our square. So your challenge now is to draw a circle. How can you do that? Pause the video and give that a go. So in order to draw a circle, we need to think about what's in this repeat loop. 
let's just change an experiment with some numbers. So rather than 100, let's move that only by 10. And let's change the degrees to 10 as well. Now let's see what happens. Ah, it's beginning to do something now. That's a curved line. Hmm. So let's change this a little bit more. Let's change this to 5 and maybe that to 5. Our line is getting smaller, but you can still see there's a little curve there. So how about if we change the repeats? So how about we repeat that by 20 times and see what happens? Let's press stop, play, ah, it's beginning to draw a circle. So let's increase this by to 50. So what it's doing, it's repeating, it's moving it five forward, turning by five degrees, and then repeating that 50 times. So let's move this out, and I'm going to move this over here. We're gonna go back to our control, and we're gonna use this forever one. Because when we're thinking about a solar system and an Earth orbiting the sun, it needs to go on forever. So we're gonna use the loop forever. So let's move that back in, and now let's see what happens. Now we have an orbit. Let's stop that. Let's change some of these numbers. Let's, let's just move that by two. The circle gets smaller. So what happens if we keep that at five and we change the degrees to two? What happens then? The circle gets bigger. It's going off the screen there. We don't quite want that, so let's move that to three. So you can see here that as we change our numbers, we get bigger orbits. So now we've got some orbits going on, we need to centralize this a little bit more, because at the moment, our orbit is to the right. It starts at zero, zero. Okay, so let's now move our orbit over a little bit, because it's a bit to the right of the screen. So let's move our x-axis to minus 75 and let's play that and see what happens. Ah, there we go, our orbit is more centralized in the middle. So, let's change a few things now. What we need to do is make this more like a solar system. So let's go to the backdrop and we're gonna create a new backdrop by clicking on backdrop here. We're gonna go to space and let's put the stars in here, okay? And then click OK. Now this is looking much more like an orbit of the solar system, but we need something in the middle. The Earth doesn't orbit around nothing. So let's go and add a new sprite. So let's go to the sprite, let's go to space, and we have a sun here. So let's choose the sun. There's the sun, so let's put that in the middle, and shrink that down. What we need to do is make sure that that sun is in the middle when we start. So let's stop that and let's go to events, bring this command over. When the flag is clicked, we want the sun to start in the position that we have it now. Okay, so let's play. There we go, we have our Earth orbiting the sun. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.